The common notion of reciprocity is given to receive the same in exchange. However, what I have learned in my journey is that reciprocity is more about giving than receiving. That there is a profound joy and light in giving alone and that one always must give from the full heart. I have been practicing service for most of my life and it has not always been easy to give, especially in times of personal challenges, unbalanced relationships, or even as a mother. Even today, it's not always easy to give, but the, teacher tra- the meditation teacher training has allowed me to deepen my faith in giving and being of service and in paying forward the lessons that my teachers had shared throughout my life. My life journey has taken me in different directions, but led me to one destination, service. As a teacher and a curandier, which is the closest description in English, will be as a holistic, for a holistic healer. My life purpose has been to help others to create harmony within themselves and with the world around them. For the last 10 years, I have been working with indigenous and Afro communities in South America. I have sat in many circles where I learned and shared to hold a space for others with compassion and love. And, my, and the most important thing I have learned there is to receive. It was in the circles when I saw humble, pe- humble people that have very little material possessions give and share with me whatever little they have without expecting anything in return. They gave me food, clothing, knowledge, sacred practices, all enveloped in reciprocity. They did it out of the joy of sharing and that I took. I took that joy and knowledge with me. I returned the gift with my respect and devoted attention. Together, we began to weave the energy of reciprocity. And it is not a coincidence that weaving is such an important verb in South America. It symbolizes an interconnected union where we all share with one another, where we assist in the loop of giving and receiving and caring. I incorporate all of that knowledge into my practice from then on. To this day, this continues to be to inform the way I live and interact with people. But before I had these experiences with these communities, I have already been practicing meditation. My work with them only reinforced my meditation practice. This brings us to today here to New York, to Three Jewels. How did I end up here? Well, I usually come to New York every year to visit family. And during that time, I try to pay a visit to Three Jewels to listen to the Hector's Dharma talks. So when I came to New York this summer, I found about the meditation teacher training. It felt like a strong sign, like a powerful ma- message to my heart, a sign that this training was for me. Indeed, this was something that I needed to do. It has proven to be the most important thing I had done in years because it had given me the opportunity to relearn and reflect about the importance of meditation in my life. Now, let's bring it back. The, let's bring back this story to the subject of this talk, which is reciprocity. The teachings of meditation need to be extended beyond the cushion and be applied to the everyday life. This is our practice, reciprocity, by deepening my meditation practice so that from there I can give to others in, in a deep and more compassionate way. A great example of this is the love meditation where we extend love with no exception. And there, there is a, a deep beauty in, in reciprocity within meditation when you practice from your own benefit and the benefit of all sentient beings. And when you dedicate every experience within that practice of love or joy and the sense of belonging to the whole world and beyond. 